today I wanted to run through a little bit about Skype for Business, what it does and how you can use it, some of the basic features within there. So Skype for Business is essentially a directory um, so you can find people in your organisation, you can see where they're at, their status, are they online, are they offline, are they off work in a meeting. You can do instant messaging with them, so hi Raman, quick, quick shout out, send the message and it's sort of an, an email replacement for those quick questions. But what it can also do is you can then connect it to people outside of your organisation. Um, but within, but to whoever you're connecting it to, you can start to have conversations and start to share content and collaborate with them. So what I mean by that is we can actually share, um, say, our desktop session, and this will share what I'm seeing on my screen to the recipient in this message. But more so, we can have multiple people in that in that conversation as well. So we could be sharing this out to multiple people, either within the business or outside the business. We can actually see here if there was any content we were sharing. But you can share OneNotes, you can share attachments, you can share PowerPoint files. Um, you can also set up little um, whiteboard sessions and polls and Q&A style questions to your audience and your the team you're collaborating with. The whiteboard session will pop up and it's essentially a whiteboard that you can draw on. So what it allows, and people in this call and this conversation will actually see what's going on. Um, they can be chatting and commenting um, either via text, um, but they can also call in over the IP network, so over the internet, um, which we'll touch on in a minute. But yeah, so you can see what they're doing. You can also then invite them into a video call this is again, this is purely over internet, so as long as we've got an internet connection and a camera. You can also a Skype call, which is a again an internet call, so if they're over the other side of the country and you want to talk to them. But you can actually extend Skype for Business to do traditional voice calling as well, out to mobile numbers or other landlines. Um, now that's an extension of Skype, um, there's a couple of ways to do it, um, but it works just like a traditional phone system, type in your number, phone it, doesn't matter. So that's how we use it. We actually use Skype as our phone system replacement. So that is a little bit about Skype.